Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Normally by this time of the week, we're talking about the cards that are leaked to come in the promo that's one day away since it's Thursday. But today, the day before Ultimate Birthday starts in this game, we have no leaks. We don't know anything concrete that is coming for the promo tomorrow. And that's a little bit weird. Now, hey, I'm down for a surprise. Imagine this week we don't have leaks for the first time in years and we actually are surprised by the promo team that comes out i think that's a little unlikely i think we will get some leaks but i want to talk about that in today's video and of course today's a thursday with a brand new season and coming and maybe our last show on sbc so we'll talk about that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and if you're seeing right off the bat that something looks off about my account that's because there is but that deserves a whole nother video and let me tell you guys, that's going to be an interesting one. There's going to be another video dropping today explaining why I have zero coins. And let me tell you, it is not good. But let's get this video going for you guys and talk about what went on yesterday with content on a Wednesday. We had our showdown SBC again, a cheaper one as expected. They went with the expensive ones on uh, Tuesday with Felix and with Depay, who I still think I'm going to steer clear of. And they released some cheaper ones yesterday with Marius Wolf and Knopf. Also, EA is showing all SBCs right now and even some cards in preview packs. After the new update that dropped yesterday, that spring update is already out with the gameplay changes and everything. These cards are a visual glitch, I guess you would say, because when you actually complete them, it doesn't show you as a zero game loan. You actually get the real player. So it's a visual glitch of the zero game loan thing, but it does show them as loans with zero games. Kind of weird. Uh, but... You know, Marius Wolf and Knopf from Frankfurt. This Wolf card actually looks kind of decent. 4-4, high, high, good pace. For the price that he is as well, it is a decent card. He's got Anticipate, Jockey, Quick Step, Rapid, Long Throw In even. But the Whipped Pass Plus is obviously very nice. He's six foot two, um, And the price is pretty nice here. It's only 50,000 coins to get done. 72K to get Knopf done from Frankfurt. I think if you're going to do either of these, I think you're doing Marius Wolf. And I think it's a good card. Like the potential for this is that he could go to an 89 with a win and then to a 90 with the evolution. If you're a Dortmund fan, this would be a really nice right back for your team. And it could be pretty good in game. I don't think though for most people in this game that it's that crazy. And Knopf as well as four star, four star. He's got great pace, but 75 composure at this stage of the game is just not it, especially with only one play style. Again, these are the cheaper showdowns, so one play style is kind of expected. So I think Wolf is decent, but it's not anything crazy. If you want to get it done, get it done and craft it. Uh, this game is happening on the 17th, guys. There are three massive games happening on the 17th. The showdown we got yesterday for Dortmund and Frankfurt. The showdown, of course, between um, Felix and Depay. That game is happening on the 17th. And then the showdown I think we're getting today from the Serie A is all going to be played on the 17th of March. That's going to be a big, big day for these live cards. Now, also yesterday, we had another piece of foot birthday released in terms of content. That was the ultimate birthday daily login upgrade. And guys, this one you got to start on. If you haven't done it, I would really, really encourage you to get it done straight away because this SBC is only out for 15 days and you have to complete it 15 times to get the full um, objective that is tied into it done. So I think you can't miss a day. I know that it's out for technically like 16 full days, but I don't think you'll be able to do the SBC 16 times, right? Because if an F SBC drops with 16 days, you know, it'll only refresh 15 times. I think, I don't know the math here. It's either one day off or you can't miss a day. So I'm going to treat it as you can't miss a day. So here's your daily reminder, right? When you see the YouTube video pop up, the TFA is uploaded like we do every day. Treat that as your reminder to double check that you got the daily login done. I got mine done. The rewards, I don't know, they're decent, pretty typical. 84.5, 85.3 by the end, 85.4, and then an 83 times 20. So it is worth it to get it done. If you can imagine by the second team of uh, foot birthday by the end, you love some pretty solid packs there to be able to craft with whatever is going on. So we always do, uh, love a daily login, especially because this daily login is one of those really cheap ones where you, all you have to turn in is one bronze player. So that is very, very nice. Now, that was all the SBC and objective content yesterday. It was not a very busy day. But what did keep us busy was the fantasy upgrades. Guys, some of these upgrades that they had yesterday 
were nuts. And this one is really the most nuts. It is changing the game. Pedro Poro with his plus two, which actually when they first upgraded him, they only gave him a plus one. Then they gave him his extra plus one to be a plus two later on. This card is him, all right? I mean, I know I'm a Spurs fan, so I'm a little bit biased. But after trying this card out yesterday, I tried out Poro with the upgrade, Delict, uh, the Ferrich SBC, and the Werner with their upgrades yesterday. I took out Cafu for this Pedro Porto card, and Cafu is not coming back into my team, at least right now, because this card is just as good, if not better. With the Whipped Pass Plus, his pace is unbelievable. His, like everything, he is so good. I don't know what it was about this plus two upgrade. It just changed a whole lot about this card. I think he was good even to begin with before that, but now he is cracked, and you can tell by his price on the market that people are believing in this card and that he is good. He is 44,000 coins right now after he was already i mean guys this card was 20k you know how many people invested between 20 to 25,000 coins on this pedro Poro card and how often he was packed so many of us had this card and tradable in our clubs because he was so easily packable and now he's already up to 43 44 45,000 coins in the hype yes he links to verner who was again one of the most popular spcs which definitely helps pedro Poro's case but the fact that this card got that plus two has the potential to get upgraded further and is so cracked this might be uh one of the better right backs right now in the game especially for the price that he is take a look at the rest of the market the proofs in the pudding guys loud up winter wild cards went from 190 yesterday down to 140 where he is now right backs in so many different areas of the game are down bad right now especially the middle to lower tier are down and dropping in price because of this pedro Poro card being so cracked now timo Werner got a nice upgrade as well they gave him plus two pace and plus two physical again this card's looking really good it's pat or sorry plus two passing i always say pace plus two passing and plus two physical and then plus one in every other stat category he has 97 pace now and 86 passing which is the passing that's that needed the biggest upgrade that's definitely a weaker point to this card and it is very very nice that he got plus two there for sure now i will say yesterday the new patch is out right it was released the spring update that we talked about in the second channel yesterday um with the nerf of the power shot plus in my opinion it is noticeable i will be completely honest those power shots are still fast but they are not as rapid traveling through the air towards the back of the net like they were before the patch i still think the power shot is useful and it does not make this card rendered useless for sure he's still so meta so jammy right 56 goals in 38 games this card is incredible right i just think now with power shots you maybe have to be a little bit more accurate and precise with that left stick where you're aiming to get the power shot in the perfect spot for the finish rather than just having so much power that you can maybe aim a little bit towards the center of the goal instead of the um like the 90 uh, top or lower 90 to get the best finish possible so try to work on your aiming with power shots a little bit more but yeah power shots do seem to be nerfed a little bit as they were said to be in those pitch notes and a lot of people were saying that the gameplay feels a little bit different i thought the gameplay felt very similar um, except i could 100 percent notice that pinged pass plus is better it said that it was getting a boost they were reducing I think they reduced regular ping pass, but they buffed ping pass plus. And Udogi is definitely staying in the team for me because those ping pass plus passes that he has, um, Rolfo has them as well. So good. Absolutely incredible. Um, especially just playing entry passes into like playing Timo Werner a pass from the midfield with Udogi since he gets forward for me into the edge of the 18 Timo can turn around dribble whip a power shot or technical dribble a little bit with his great dribbling stats and just get down to the byline for a decent shooting opportunity with his great dribbling anyway like those sorts of plays are very very possible with those ping pass plus players so don't sleep on that because that was a big part of yesterday that um I think I noticed with the patch and the update. A lot of people are trying to figure out the game again because it does feel a little bit different um, with those playstyle pluses for sure after the update yesterday. Now, we also had a team of the week 26, which is really not that crazy of a team of the week. The coolest card, in my opinion, is this juiced in terms of playstyles, Gutsa. I know we have the 89 Gutsa who's got more. Um, actually, he has less shooting and pace than the 88 rated in form. And this was, <laughs> that was a live card, but this one has two play styles, press proven and first touch. He also has finesse, incisive, pinged, tiki taka, technical and flair. That's a dope boost 
for Timo Werner. This card has zero playstyle pluses, and he's 4-4 four, four, medium, medium. And this card is high, medium, 4-5. This is the best version of Goodson in the game. Kind of a fun card to try out. That's like the only gem for me from Team of the Week. Uh, ben White looks decent as well. If you want to run him as a center back, 85 pace, 90 defense, that could be a fun one to try. Salma's in there with some pace. And then Harry Kane with an incisive pass plus play style might be interesting to try too. Uh, but the rest of the team of the week just looks pretty average. So yeah, that was the quiet day yesterday on this game. Really, the patch was the biggest thing to talk about with the updates to the game and how it was feeling and those sorts of things. And of course, the fantasy upgrades too, right? Those are big things on Wednesdays that we always are looking for. Mendy is extinct at 7.6 mil, which is kind of where he was before, but it's it's absolutely outrageous that he is that price. Um, guys, I don't know. I'm still being very careful with these fantasy cards. Not many of them dropped per se. A lot of them are in the same range. Only a couple of them dropped, like Lisa Razu dropped. This is one. This is a good reminder. Lisa Razu dropped off a lot yesterday. He did rebound, but he dropped off a lot because he has no more upgrades. He fit all the upgrade criteria. He went from 1 milli down to 790. He's back up to 890 now. But watch out when somebody hits all four upgrades or especially when all of their games have been played for the upgrades, their prices drop because a lot of the price that's built in is the potential to upgrade further. Now, let's talk for birthday because that is the promo that is at hand, that is upcoming, that we are still very excited for, but we don't know much about. EA did not change the loading screen yesterday. They didn't say a thing about it. Where's the leaks? There's literally nothing, guys. It's very surprising right now to be at a stage where we have no leaks posted by any of those accounts that we most often see them from, right? Romania, um, uh, Foot Sheriff, of course, maybe Foot Police, maybe Foot Scoreboard. Some of these guys that we've been looking at leaks for for weeks and years throughout the whole game this year, they have not posted anything this week. Why is that the case? Really, we have no idea. I don't think they're withholding information from us, guys. These guys, they get the information early. That is their kind of like, that's how they get interactions. That's how they share that information and build the hype around these promos is because they're privy to that leaked information, right? They have the sources, the contacts, whatever it may be to get that info and they share it. And that's how the hype builds, right? And that's how uh, they can create some hype for themselves too. But right now we have nothing. So if there's nothing that's being posted, in my opinion, that would mean that most likely there's not much either being shared. EA has somehow kept all of this stuff for foot birthday under wraps or something has changed with the leaks in some way, shape or form. I don't know. That's a really, really interesting thing that we have no leaks so far. Because usually by the time we get to a promo Friday, the day before on Thursday, we've got the half the team leaked, a couple icons, right? Maybe even an SBC or two. And right now we have nothing. Now, if you've seen leaks, you maybe want to double check. They might not be leaks. There is a very popular prediction that is going around right now that has been retweeted by like Sheriff and stuff. A lot of predictions are out there about who could be in. Again, guys, if you see a prediction, prediction, right? Those are not leaked cards. So just be careful what you're seeing on Twitter slash X or Instagram before you believe that it's true. There's a lot of Suarez hype. And I am so hoping that Suarez gets a foot birthday card because that would be unbelievable, right? The Inter-Miami links to Messi. I mean, technically, guys, right now as it sits, it's not possible because Suarez is not an ultimate team. But Suarez has been added to kickoff mode for Inter Miami, right? With his recent transfer to Inter Miami, there's a lot of hype for him. Jordi Alba, Busquets, and Messi all playing together again. And technically, if he's in kickoff, that means he could be added to Ultimate Team, right? How they do like the winter transfer cards and stuff like that. So he could be a part of the promo. That'd be super sick if he was. I think that's kind of a little bit of a stretch at this time until we, until we see Suarez actually in the game. But I think... That going off of this prediction, I hope this prediction is so far off because it does not look very good. Beside like Suarez looks cracked, Ben Yedder could be cool, Goretzka may be decent, even Kudus may be pretty good. I don't love this prediction. I hope it's I hope it's wrong, to be honest, right? Now, for the icons being predicted, I think this actually could be pretty spot on. It's a lot easier to guess from the icons because there's such a smaller player pool, and you can kind of look at the icons that haven't got a special this year and or maybe do a new version charlton would be crazy can you imagine a charlton with the a power shot maybe maybe they update right and, and don't just do power shot for this next version of him but he's already got the five star weak foot imagine a five star five star charlton with power shot and like i don't know 
technical plus or incisive plus or maybe they give him like finesse or something like that. Like that could be really crazy. A Billy Blanc. Uh, there's so many icons this year that haven't had a promo card yet or a special version. Blanc is probably up there. It's one of the top hype cards of this year. Everybody did his base SBC and we haven't had a special since then. Looking forward to one for him. Eto, who's in that prediction, is also like a great name that could be released in this promo. So there's so many icons that could be released. It just comes down to who is it going to be? When are we going to see some of these leaks? Because I don't believe, guys, that we're going to go all the way until Friday without seeing leaks. I think that's basically impossible. We're going to get some leaks. It happens every single week. All we have right now is the car designs, but they're on the loading screen, so that doesn't even really feel like a leak. And then, of course, we have the loading screen that tells us it's five-star skills, five-star weak foot upgrades, five-star celebrations. Still not quite sure what that means, but I guess we'll have to see. I definitely know we're going to get some more news about that today. I would imagine today is a leak day. If yesterday wasn't, then today there's got to be at least some news that it's going to end up being shared. Now, one thing you can, a lot of people have been kind of scheming through the menus to try to find the people that maybe do have a little bit of information. Are they panic selling cards on the market? And is that a reason, that, a way that we can see what cards are going to be released in this promo? Cantona has gone down a lot since Tuesday from 1 million coins to right now being 775,000 coins in the market. Um, maybe Cantona is dropping in price because he has been leaked in those private channels. That information has been shared there, but it's not yet released to the public. That sort of thing is going, that's possible. But honestly, I don't think there's a direct correlation. We'll see if Cantona, like watch, Cantona is going to be in like the season release today or something. And then I'll be like, oh yeah, there he is, right? And that's why he was dropping. We'll have to see, or maybe he's going to be in foot birthday. But as of right now, it's too hard to try to tell what players are dropping on the market because of leaks and what's just dropping because foot birthday is around the corner and prices are dropping. Like le legitimately, a lot of the market right now, guys, is dropping um, and it's, it's dropping at a pretty fast rate. I think it's going to continue to drop as well. Just as you get closer and closer to foot birthday, if there's no leaks for this team yet, Maybe that means this team is going to be absolutely cracked. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect um, with uh, with all this and, and with what's leaked and obviously with what's not leaked. So we're just going to kind of have to go and, and fly by the seat of our pants, if you will, um, about that whole situation. So we're just going to have to adjust with what happens. But right now, it's really hard to like read into something dropping on the market because a lot of things are dropping. Like I sold Rashford for 1.75 and he is 1.5. Wow, what a drop for Rashford. Um, Ansu Fati, who I actually have one on my transfer list right now that I bought for 1.05 because he's been selling for around 1.2. He is down, right? He was just under a milli. He's at 1.03 right now. So hopefully I can get a good sale for that Ansu Fati on a quick bounce back. Um, Ramos, who I sold many times. Okay, he's rare right now, but a lot of these prices are dropping and that's probably going to continue to happen today as well um, with the foot birthday news. If the leaks start dropping and they're crazy, then you're definitely going to see some market prices impacted because of that as well, because people are going to be interested in foot birthday cards for sure. And the icons let's talk about fodder. Cause guess what? EA ran the lightning rounds again yesterday, and they were once again, supplying these cards. Now it didn't drop the prices like a crazy amount. You can see that it dropped them some like 80, uh, 89s were 30 K. They went down to about 28 they're back up to 29 right now, but it is not as low as they were as like 26K on Tuesday when they were their absolute lowest. I do think though, since EA ran the lightning rounds yesterday, they're going to run them again today. So I would watch out very carefully for fodder prices potentially dropping today, but it could be depending on what we see leaked. If you think back to last year during foot birthday, the SBCs that we had, we had that, remember the balloon blowing dynamic of Nkunku that was crazy expensive, but also pretty hyped. And a lot of people did it. I think we had a Pedri SBC. We had some pretty big name players in SBCs last year during foot birthday. I don't remember how it impacted fodder specifically, but if they drop big name players for foot birthday with big upgrades, um, the prices could on fodder could actually go up during foot birthday and they could be really low now beforehand just because in general fodder prices are crazy cheap but it's all going to depend on the SBCs that we get of course um, and also there should be an icon pack coming this weekend right because we had the hero pick last weekend the every other week schedule continues I know we have the icon encore that's out right now but that's kind of different right that's not a normal icon pick that is like more expensive that maybe requires 87s eights and nines 
This one obviously is the cheaper one that everybody's grinding right now. That is 83s, fours and fives. So that part of the fodder market is inflated. And if I were to tell you to sell anything, if you had these tradable in your club, I'd sell 83s to 86s because they're inflated, they're up and they are not low like the 87s and above are. I would just take the, ca the cash on those and be careful with that if you were curious. Now, let's talk Thursday today. Today's actually a big day, guys. New season, right? New season is going to be coming out. Maybe it's already out by the time you're watching this video. What we always look for in the season is what players they're going to put into this, what packs they're going to put into this. I think this season is going to end up being longer. Since we have the, uh, the champs bonus objective that's already out, and it's out for 40 days. This might be a 35, maybe even a 40 day season. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I think it's going to be longer. Um, so watch out for that today. I hope that as a part of today, we have more players like this. Give us some foot birthday players today. And actually the fact that these card designs are in the code already, that bodes well. There might be a foot birthday player that is in the season today. I would be really looking forward to that. Of course, right now it's not out, so I don't know. Um, but I like when they drop a player in here that is like Musa, right? For future stars, his cards nowhere else available. It wasn't in packs. It wasn't in SBCs. It's in here in the season. And I like that. I think they should do a little bit more of that. I know that at level 25, whatever we had the Figo, um, there's probably going to be an icon in here. That's a re-release that happens almost every single season, but I like it when they kind of put those exclusive players inside of the uh, season. I think that's cool. And it gives you, it gives those cards a little bit more of like a, a rarity to them and importance if they're good and, and meta. Um, and if they're interesting to you, so look out for a good season today. Hope it's really interesting. Hope the packs are good. And then of course today, um, we should see a new showdown and the last showdown that we haven't seen yet that is still leaked, I think is going to be Bastoni and Labatka. I would imagine that this is our showdown that's going to be coming uh, today on this game. And hopefully it is two play style pluses on these cards. And I hope they are 88 rated or 89 rated. That's kind of been like the maximum, right? Felix, Depay, Akanji, Bobby Clark were 89 with two play style pluses. I hope these are 89 or 88 with two play style pluses. They're big name players, so I have hope. I genuinely have hope uh, for this one. I think it might be 88s, not 89s, but we'll see. This could be a good one. This game is also taking place on the 17th of March, so we'll be watching out for that. Also, um, Bundes actually, Bundesliga Player of the Month, that is an SBC that's going to be coming soon. I think Kane and Grimaldo might be the favorites for that. I don't know who's won yet. I don't even think it's been leaked, but I think that Player of the Month could be either today or tomorrow on Friday. I think Bundesliga Player of the Month actually comes out on Fridays, so why not watch out for that then? And then there is one other thing. Since the new season just dropped, in the season notes that were available, this player pick, like a moments player pick SBC between the three newly promoted teams from the championship into the Premier League for this Premier League season, uh, we're going to get a Morris, I uh, forget this guy's name from Burnley, five-star skills, and then we're going to get an Ahmed Zovich center back card. These were all a part of what EA told us was coming in the new season update. And since that update is out, uh, maybe either or all of these cards could be released via that SBC that's coming. It's going to be a player pick between one of the three. So uh, choose wisely, I guess, whenever this comes out. But that might be today. That also might not be until like next week. But I imagine they'd want to keep it pretty fresh. So I'm going to guess that these are today. That's my guess. And then, of course, marquee matchups on a Thursday. That is something that comes out every single Thursday on this game. So that's kind of the video for today, guys. I'm looking forward to more news, more information. My pack save is slowly getting there. Add another 83 times 10 to the stash yesterday. I accidentally opened an 84 times something or an 85 times four. And then I have my 84 times 20 from level 25 from the season here. And hopefully we will be able to get ourselves a few more packs, a couple more 83 times 10s. I might try to save all three of those today for tomorrow because at this point it's like I'm not packing anything from this re-release. Let's just try to pack something from Foot Birthday coming out on Friday. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new. And stay tuned for another video later on today that is definitely a weird one, guys. All right, that's enough I'll say about that. I'll see you in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. For Nate Foot Accountant, peace out.